Today, I'm going to take you on a magic school bus ride to show you what I have discovered during the battle between the immune system and Staphylococcus aureus. As Ms. Frizzle would always say, seatbelts everyone. The skin is your body's first line of defense against pathogens, like a castle wall. But if the wall is breached, pathogens like Staph aureus can cause infection, leading to serious complications like sepsis, multi-organ failure, even death. When there's a staph infection, immune cells charge in as the defenders against disease within minutes. But the problem is, we don't exactly know what the immune cells do once they arrive, so I took a closer look for my PhD. By using a powerful imaging technique called intravital microscopy, I am able to visualize the immune system in action in a living, breathing mouse. As we shrink to the cellular level and dive into this skin infection, we can see dynamic interactions between staph aureus and immune cells in real time. My research has shown that two different types of immune cells get to the skin infection. Look out your window. You can see lots of red cells inside the infection. Those are the neutrophils, the foot soldiers of the immune system. Neutrophils are armed and ready to kill bacteria. Now, if you look around the edge of the infection, you will see green cells, the monocytes. Monocytes are the Swiss army knife of the immune system. I have discovered that during infection, they switch from an inflammatory monocyte that can kill bacteria to an anti-inflammatory monocyte that cannot kill bacteria. Just imagine yourself as bacteria for a moment. You have made it behind enemy lines and set up camp within the skin. You don't want to be seen, otherwise your mission will be compromised. So what would you do to survive? Well, if I were Staph aureus, I would physically protect myself from the immune system by setting up an impenetrable shield called a biofilm. I would also trick the immune system and give a direct order to the monocyte, telling them to become anti-inflammatory so they won't kill me. And I have shown that this is exactly what Staph aureus does. There is now a chronic infection in skin and Staph aureus wins the battle. But luckily for the mouse, there's a way to keep monocytes in their inflammatory bacteria killing state by turning off a gene called NR4A1. Through live imaging, I watched as these inflammatory monocytes now infiltrated into the heat of battle, having a greater chance at killing bacteria. And in fact, the infection was cleared much faster. Blocking monocyte conversion is a promising new therapy for staph infections. As we travel out of the skin back to reality, I hope you can appreciate the importance of basic science research. Now you won't be able to walk into the clinic tomorrow and get this type of treatment for your next infection. It might take a few more years, but by understanding host pathogen interactions at a cellular and molecular level, we are getting one step closer to developing new immunotherapies to infection and potentially other diseases like cancer as well. Thank you.